everybody, thanks for clicking on Card X Gamer. I'm CXG, and today we'll be playing some Stick War. Okay, first of all, I think you can see this light on me. I've tried switching to couple although all the other rooms I can record in this place. It's still there no matter how much I try covering it, something always changes, and the effect of it, it's just a pain in the butt, so I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with this until I can get better stuff to help me. But, so yeah, back to playing Stick War. Um, so, this is a game I remember playing when I was a kid, like. This world is an illusion. In the world's called the Immortal, you're surrounded by discriminating nations devoted to their individual technology and struggle for dominance. Each society has developed its own unique way to wage war. Proud of their unique craft, they have become obsessed to the point of worship, turning weapons to religion. Each believe that their way of life is the only way, and are dedicated to teaching their policies to all other nations through what their leaders claim as divine intervention, or as you will know it, Whoa. The others are known as Archidones, Way of the Archer, Sodra, Way of the Sword, Magicum, Way of the Mage, and Spiritons, Way of the Spear. You are the leader of the nation called Mordor. Your way is of peace and knowledge. Your people do not worship their weapons as gods. This makes you a mark for infiltration by the surrounding nations. Your only chance to defend is to attack first and obtain the technologies from each nation along the way. Okay, yeah, so... Um, so what we're gonna be doing is gonna be playing some campaign. Second of all, we're not loading my previous game. We're doing it on this normal. This game is difficult at times. We're saving the game. Y'all ready? But anyways, so this is kind of like the tutorial. And that, as an exit bar, if you haven't played this, that bar loads the timer for how many people you can... I can control... Last time I couldn't control at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the miner do this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna summon another guy. Gonna summon another guy. Okay, so these guys cost money, and that's kind of shown in the resources over there. Now I can use this to scroll along the screen. So I gotta defeat the enemy and their statue. More swordsmen. Pause. Low effect. And everything's pretty much okay. How do I get out of this? How do I get out? Oh, back here. Did not see that. It's the only way. Just keep beating it with brute force. Gotta keep amassing the army. Okay, sorry, I'm kinda not talking as much. But, um, anyways, about earlier. Like, yeah, like, I actually got a comment about someone wanting to join me playing on, on um, Digimon Masters, and I'm like, sure, fine, join me, whatever you wanna do. I'll play with you guys. That's uh, I actually I would love to interact with you guys. It's, fun. it's like I like doing that. Like if you want to duel me or something, tell me your dueling network account name or something, and I'll get on and play with you. 
I like doing that kind of stuff. I, I really, I really enjoy interacting with people who watch my videos. It's great. So, and also, I'll be doing, um, these flash games like these are the only thing I'm doing. I'm only doing games like these until I can either get my Game Boy hooked up and play, maybe to play some game, get some consoles hooked up so I can record. Come on, go guy, go! Okay, so, but yeah, talking and interacting with you guys is actually a fit. I like... I was actually surprised this is my first comment I ever got on one of my videos. I was really happy about it too, because I mean, what? It's the first comment. Someone who wanted to talk. Um, that's great. I like talking with you guys. So, message me more. Stuff like that. I would really enjoy it. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Want to play a game? Sure. Tell me. If you have Dev Pro, I'll play you on Dev Pro. You have Dueling Network. I'll play you on Dueling Network. And Dueling Network is free. It's another source we can play Yu Gi Oh! It's a browse in browser thing, so we can play all the time. Also, if you want to play me in other card games, tell me I play on Training Card Online. So, I'm going to lose in the tutorial. This is humiliating. Well, if I do lose, they'll make sure I'm not an idiot next time. Well, I have lost. Restart. You didn't see anything. Okay, so pretty much the reason why we're playing this game is I might make this a two-part series, or not a series in general, but I might do this multiple times. Now we got Swordsman on our side. I'm gonna issue an order. I'm actually gonna defend for a little bit. Reason why is. I'm going to try and amass resources. Gotta, gotta amass some resources. I got four swords. Gathering up, re I'm gathering up men to charge in with, or men or women, whatever you want to call it. I'm gathering up my forces. Now we go on the assault. What has fallen? Two more have come. Run! Come on, we got it. We got it. We can't lose again. Chasing. Shooting up, chase. Almost got it. 
Put up chase, one more. Now attack! Sorry if I'm getting a little excited. Stick four always got me a little. It's war tactics. Not exactly normal war. But you guys get the picture. And... First man died. More have come. We're just trying to pick off as much as we can. This is the strategy I will go with. So we can break the spend for a bunch of warriors. And it's crumbled! We achieve victory! We got Archer. <coughs> Best idea is to increase the movement speed of my swordsman actually. Save game. Okay, um Give me one second, I gotta do something. Okay, what I was doing is I was checking the time and we can do one more battle and that'll be the end of the episode for the day. Okay, I'm getting him an archer in here first. Because archers are actually really useful if no whatever. If no one ever thought about that, he's like having an archer in the front, but always a good for front line defense. Can snipe. Having them defend is probably the best idea at the moment. We can shift, we can increase our forces. Just. We gotta hold the fort for a little bit. We, yeah, the reason why I like I've liked this game for multiple reasons. Wait, yeah. Is there any even a tower thing? Oh yeah, there's not. So defense is pretty much the only thing we got going for us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep. Gotta keep making soldiers. My frontline forces. Yeah, because like what I've consent considered the fact that if I have an archer in the back that can provide a backup of sorts and have like a bunch of swordsmen in the front, the archer can provide the extra damage. And the swordsman can be the primary damage. Unit. Retreat! 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 Okay, attacking's best right now. All my resources to... We survived the ambush! Okay, that took me like one minute, but... Anyways, um... Increase the mining rate? Okay, so we're ready. We've saved. Now we're going Sword Wrath in the next video. Well, not the next video. I'll spread these out so they won't be seen. But this will be considered the morning video. It's not going to be a series of a Let's Play, really. But we're just going to be just going through it. Tell me what you think. And also, I will be playing more multiplayer games on here. I'm just going to find one. If you have one, that's a good. I've never. If you have one, recommend it in the comments down below. I'll play you guys. That's what I kind of want to do, anyways. So just leave a comment down below and tell me what tell me what games you think you want to play or if you want me to play a game that multiplayer and that he, like um, people who watch the videos can play with or you can play with me on um tell me leave in the comments down below I love it so thank you everybody for watching clicking on the video if you like the video hit some like hit the subscribe like button and leave a comment down below on CXG I don't know, and I'm CXG and I'm signing out I'll click you later guys.